Hello, my name is Raymond Noodles and this is some anime news. If you find this content helpful or enjoyable, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more content coming your way. Kyoto Animation announced that it will be holding a public memorial service for its victims of the first studio building fire that happened on July 18th. The memorial and joining our prayer service will be held at the Miyako Messe Event Hall in Kyoto November 3rd and the 4th. People who attend will be able to approach the altar and pray individually. There will be some messages of support received from fans that will be displayed at the memorial as well. Now there will most likely be a huge showing which makes sense so the planners of the event have requested that attendees stagger their plant attendance throughout the event hours. This specific event was more for the public as the company held a private of mourning event in late September for those close to the victims. As it was stated there were about 250 people in total for the private event. Total donations for the company from the bank account that was accepting donations on behalf of KyoAni reached just under 3 billion yen or about 26 million dollars in USD. I have never been more proud of the worldwide anime community for helping out one of the best studios in the industry and of all time. Great job everyone. I want to keep those good vibes going so Kyoto Animation President Hideki Hada held a press conference in Kyoto that announced that 27 of the 33 victims injured in the fire have returned to work. I know that there were quite a few people that were not coming back to the studio for obvious reasons, but many of those who were injured have returned to their work for the beloved studio. Everyone is very stressed, President Hada stated, but they are working with medical institutions to provide psychological care, and it was also stated that there were only a few people who retired after the incident as well. On top of all this, the team at Kyoto Animation is still looking to get the Violet Evergarden movie into theaters around April of 2020. To those at Kyoto Animation, you are a shining example of strength and fortitude, and let this tragedy and your bravery never be forgotten. There will always be a place for anime, and there are four films that are being submitted for consideration for animated featured Oscar. Now, I personally don't care for award ceremonies since there's a lot of politics involved, and judging art just seems odd, but it is amazing that anime projects are getting their time in the spotlight. The following are the films being submitted for consideration. Ayumi Wanatabe's and Studio 4 C's Children of the Sea, Kitaro Kasaka's and DLE and Madhouse Oko's Inn, Hiroyuki Mashi's and Trigger's Promare, Makoto Shinkai and Co Mix Waves Films Weathering with You. Now, there were plenty of other films that were submitted for consideration, so please check out the Anime News Network link down below for all those titles. The Oscars can both be a positive and negative place, but for the world of anime, this can mean more exposure, and I would like to keep a positive outlook for things to come for both anime studios and fans of anime in the future. A match made in heaven as Crunchyroll joins forces with Webtoon for all new animated content. The new animated projects will be based on Webtoon's own property catalog, so this will be covering some pretty popular webcomics and some fan favorites. Now, more work going around is an amazing thing, so both Webtoon and Crunchyroll will handle the distribution, licensing, and retail of each new series. The parent company to Crunchyroll, Alation, launched Alation Studios last year and the division includes production facilities both in Tokyo and Burbank, California. Exciting news guys, exciting news overall, and with Tower of God and Noble S getting their own respective animation projects, this will be a new era of anime based on novels, manga, and webtoons. I am jacked about this as anyone can be, so I hope that this partnership makes some waves and we will be getting some awesome stuff to watch. So, let's end this on something more interesting as Crunchyroll announces most viewed anime for the summer of 2019. Now there are 50 million registered users that use Crunchyroll every day and more that are not registered, so this service has given us some information of which series were the most viewed. There are plenty in this list that are properties which ended years ago, but still have that following. So here are 20 most popular shows on Crunchyroll as of summer 2019, and these are in no particular order. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, Rising of the Shield Hero, One Piece, Naruto Shippuden, Naruto, My Hero Academia, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Isekai Cheat Magician, Don Machi, Hunter x Hunter, Food Wars, Fire Force, Fairy Tale, Dragon Ball Z Super, Dr. Stone, Demon Slayer, Boruto, Bleach, Black Clover, and Attack on Titan. These are not in order of most popular or anything, but these are the 20 most popular as of last season. Isekai is a trend that will not be going anywhere anytime soon, and this list also shows that the longtime fans of Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and Dragon Ball Z will love these series until the end of days. And that has been some anime news. If you like the content, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel as I have more coming your way. My name is Raymond Noodles, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.